for this part we are making a template for a client so you're going to be needing a ceramic wrap and the masking tape you can get this any store you are going to need a marker and a scissor so the first part for this is you want to find out where the hairline is going to be so you want to mark the hairline always find out the center of the forehead some clients like to have a round hairline some clients like a little recession and the most natural one you always ask them before they lose their hair to bring a picture so they can see so you can see what kind of hairline you want for the clients now when you mark the center you want to mark another one right where on the temple you want to put another mark right here you always want to look and make sure the marks are even and then connect the marks this will guide you to draw your hairline now what you can do is all right Tony I'm gonna need your help all right Make sure it's not loose. Make sure mm -hmm. it's tight. This is to get the contour of your head. Okay, now, hold on. Make this twisted, twisted, let go. Now, put your finger right there. Good. Now you do the same thing on this side. And now you're gonna be using a marker And you make sure, if you're at home by yourself, you can hold a mirror so you can see where you're drawing the line. You want to make sure you mark all the tanning area. Now remember the marks you put. You connect these marks. And now we're going to connect the marks together. You want to double check, make sure that it's even on each side. The most important part for this is when you draw your line, you mark like the letter B so you know this is the back. And you do the same thing, you put F means the front so you know which side is the front, which side is the back. Once you do that, Use your measuring tape, I mean your ma measuring, um, sorry, your masking tape.
remember this is mostly to get a perfect contour of your head Once we do this, you want to make sure you press it down to get the shape of your head. And now, use your scissor. Then you make sure you cut around the edges. Make sure you cut nice and neat. If you put a little wing to the side, that's what they're gonna make because they're gonna think that you won that side long. The factory will always use what you're sending. After you cut it, you make sure you put it on you to see if it's perfect size. And now, you always want to write, again, you mark. The back, front, right, left, and you write your client's name on it. And you send this with your work order and the sample to the factory. And then they will make your hair and send it to you. Mm -hmm.